you know that you can embed your Gentilda patch into Daisy? Let's learn how to set it up. Hi, this is Takumi from Electrosmith, and in this video, we'll add Daisy support to MaxMSP so that we can embed a program created with Gentilda. By the end of this video, we'll be able to make Daisy blink using the oopsie object within Max. Let's get started. First thing we'll need is Daisy, which is an embedded platform for music. We also need a USB cable and a computer. Okay, click on the first link in the description below to follow along. Our first task is to install the toolchain, which is the set of tools used to bridge Daisy to a firmware. This includes the building, flashing, and debugging firmware on the Daisy. Essential tools for your next audio project. Okay, click on the operating system of your choice here. I'll start with Mac real quick. Let's download the installer and just follow the installation wizard prompts. And it'll be the same process for Windows as shown. Okay, let's move on to the next step. Let's download the oopsie package by clicking this link. And after extracting the file, move it or copy and paste it into the max8 packages folder, which is located here. Another way to install oopsie is to clone it from GitHub, which you can learn more about in the wiki. For this, Windows users need to install Git. Now we're ready to embed a program into Daisy within Max. Any of these example patches will make Daisy blink when it's flashed. So let's just open reverb.maxpath for example. Okay, we noticed that there's a B patcher here and we can think of it as the oopsie object. It has a button that when pressed will compile the gen tilde patch into a program that can be flashed into Daisy. But first, we need to click this U menu object and pick the platform that we have. Now, you may have noticed that there's no Daisy seed. The reason is that we expect your Daisy C project to have a unique hardware configuration. So this means that you need to make your own custom JSON file, which I'll go over in a future video. For now, let's just arbitrarily pick pod. Okay, let's connect Daisy to the computer via USB cable. In order to flash a program, we need to put Daisy into bootloader mode beforehand. So press and hold this boot button, press and hold the reset button, let go of reset, and finally let go of boot. Now in Max, we can press this button object right here to flash the program into Daisy. And Daisy's onboard LED should start blinking. Awesome, success! Plus, your Daisy has a reverb inside of it now, which is cool. By the way, simply saving the patch will also flash the program. If you encounter an issue, don't be discouraged. Please double check that you're not using a power only USB cable. Daisy requires a USB cable that can transfer data. And for Windows users, you may need to reset your USB driver using Zadig, which you can learn more about in our previous video or in the wiki. And there's a link in the description to our troubleshooting page. As mentioned earlier, every time we want to flash a program into Daisy, we need to put Daisy into bootloader mode beforehand. But we can actually skip this bootloader step by using ST-Link, which you can get from our website. For me personally, it's been super convenient. Let's learn how to use it. Plug the connector to ST-Link in this direction like this. And then we can connect it to Daisy's headers right here. Make sure the rest stripe is facing the opposite of Daisy's USB port like this. And make sure to center it so that there are an even number of pins on either side of the connector. Then connect ST-Link to your computer's USB port. Finally, we can connect Daisy to the computer the usual way using the onboard USB port. So two USB ports on your computer will be used. To flash a program with ST-Link connected to Daisy, we need to change one main setting. In the oopsie.js, which is located in the source folder, change make program DFU to make program like this. There are two instances of this. After editing, we can simply flash by pressing the button on the oopsie object. No more pressing the boot and reset buttons. Don't forget that you made this change because the usual way of flashing with the bootloader mode will not work anymore unless you change it back. Now that we can flash a program into Daisy within Max, what's next? 
Well, we are using Daisy after all, so let's get some sound happening. Simply start flashing a Gen Tilda patch that you made. And I'll go into more detail in a future video, but if you have Daisy Seed, here's how to connect an audio jack. And there are example patches that you can try out and also analyze. I would like to remind you that we do have a forum and Discord. Please share what you're working on and ask questions. I'll see you there. As always, please do comment below what kind of videos you would like to see. I always take requests. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.